Well, it's time to do some exhaust in this truck. Uh, you've probably heard it before. Real noisy and missing some parts, so I've got myself a brand new tailpipe for it. And look at all the nice parts. I got new studs for the exhaust manifolds because I'm pretty sure we're going to need those. So I got two sets of those. I've got a bunch of exhaust lamps because I don't want to weld anything. And oh, I know I got more good stuff in here. Where are you? I say. Oh, here we go. I also got a couple of uh, exhaust donuts. So we can replace those and get rid of that. And in this box, I do believe, there is a brand new muffler. So we've got. Uh, pretty much the entire exhaust system that we're going to need. Now let's uh, crawl under the truck and I'll show you what I'm up against trying to get those uh, those pipes off the manifolds. Alright, well here's what I'm working with underneath. This site isn't too bad but they had a bunch of uh, stove putty jammed around there because the donuts were leaking and they didn't want to take those studs out. And uh, <laughs> they wrapped the whole thing in, in stove putty both sides of it already got most of it knocked off let's see uh, you can see some of it still still hanging on there but we are going to try to get that off of there I'm gonna go ahead and probably fire up the truck and let it get hot and then we'll put the uh, a socket on there and probably the impact and see if we can break them suckers loose and if we can we can replace the studs and the uh, donuts and then we won't have an exhaust leak and then we can move further back to where there's no muffler and no tailpipe. Alright, let's fire this thing up and heat up those manifolds. It's not that noisy but I don't know if you're driving around town might be a problem. Now I don't know if this is going to work. I don't have very high hopes, but hopefully if I can get the manifolds warm and get those uh, studs out without breaking them, that would be nice. Otherwise I'm kind of screwed. But we'll let this heat up for a while and uh, see what happens. Yay, progress. I managed to break off all six of the studs and drop that down which isn't too big of a deal because there's a bunch of meat left on there on this side anyway and I should be able to get a stud extractor on there and at least have a chance of getting those out but on this side the situation is a little worse I've got two of those studs on the right hand side that uh, there's not a whole lot of meat left on them so I don't know if my stud extractor will uh, be able to even grab onto those much less pull them out but we'll see what we can do I'll give it a try anyway and you can see all that putty is still <laughs> still hanging in there uh, why they decided to use stove putty I, I will never know but scrape all that out of there and try the stud extractor and see if they'll come out and here is my stud extractor as you can see I use it all the time but I'm going to go ahead and cut this open and we'll take a look at it and uh, see if that will grab them things. Alright, there it is out of the box and uh, it kind of works like a chuck on a drill. Hold the bottom and you spin that and these jaws move in and out and uh, close up on the stud. So, I think we'll uh, spin this on there and see if it's going to grab them things. I kind of like this. It's got a 3 8 drive but it's also got a hex on there so you can put a socket on there and a half inch so that's probably what I'll end up doing but let's give it a try on those uh, really bad ones first because if they don't come then yeah kinda screwed well that little tool works pretty good unfortunately it works too good and it snaps them off and then uh, it doesn't close enough to get on the very little nib of a of that stud so yeah them studs just they're not coming out I could uh, 
you know, take the manifolds off and screw with it and all that. Drill them out or grab a vice grips or something, but uh, I think I'm probably just going to get headers for it. Because why screw around with all of that when I can get a set of headers for next to nothing for this thing. Plus it'll be performance, so yeah, I think we'll go that route. Yeah, it's times like this I wish I had myself one of them fancy uh, oxyacetylene torches. Although, to be fair, the way these things look, I'm not sure that would have helped much. Look at that one, that's all that was left, that little tiny bit. So, I'll get me some headers. That'll solve my problem, I think, rather than trying to drill out the uh, manifolds. But uh, I'll probably snap some bolts off in the head there some exhaust manifold bolts and then really wish I had a a nice torch but we'll see what happens I guess I'll get that ordered up and in the meantime i work on one of the other 80,000 problems this thing has alright I managed to get the uh, passenger side manifold off and I didn't break any of the bolts uh, the driver's side's another story uh, I didn't break any bolts but there was one already broken off in there which is great but uh, this thing looks alright, I don't see any cracks in it. The question now is how much do I hate myself? I found uh, a new exhaust, or headers, for like 80 bucks. You know, bolt right in, ready to go. Or, do I want to take this down to my uncle's? He's got a uh, acetylene torch. Do I want to take it down there and actually try to get those studs out? They're pretty friggin' nasty looking. I don't know. I don't know how much I hate myself. We'll have to see. I guess one way or another we'll have an answer. Either I'll have brand new studs in these or it'll be a brand new set of uh, headers sitting here. Well, I guess I don't hate myself that much. I got the uh, finest set of headers that eBay had to offer. Every expense was, was spared, but uh, at least they're shiny and chrome. And uh, away with you old headers, or old exhaust manifolds. And uh, yeah, I guess while I was waiting for them, I went ahead and replaced the rear shocks that weren't sh shocking anymore. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can throw these suckers on there. Well, I managed to get the uh, manifolds off without breaking any bolts, but unfortunately, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but way in the back there on that very last one there was bolt broken off way in the back I didn't break it off it was already like that so I was having a an exhaust leak which would explain why it's so noisy and also it's on the driver's side so that's the side with the O2 sensor so it was probably sucking air in there and uh, causing the O2 sensor to think it's lean and the truck probably was adjusting for a lean condition that didn't exist and made it run super rich so I'm gonna have to try to fix that now uh, most of the time you'd probably just take the head off and make it a lot easier to drill that stud out or that bolt out but I don't want to do that so I'm gonna try to get it out with the, this cheap little angle adapter I've got for my drill and a couple of uh, metal cutting drill bits little stubby ones and hopefully I can put it in there and uh, get that thing drilled so it's not going to be fun it's not going to be easy it's going to be pretty uncomfortable I think but hopefully I'll be able to get in there and uh, get that piece of a bolt out so that I can actually put the new headers on and have them seal so I'm going to get to it we're going to see if it works if it doesn't I'll have to I suppose figure out another way to try to seal that up but uh, we're gonna give it a try I love it when a plan falls completely apart so I was in here in the engine bay basically hunched over like I had a bad case of scoliosis drilling away on that uh, on that uh, broken off bolt trying to get a pilot hole done and it was going good it was going in there drilling it out and I must have flinched or moved or something and snapped that bit right off in there and uh, there's not enough of it to pull it out and uh, drilling through 
a piece of a drill bit not really going to happen so I think we're just going to move on put the new uh, headers in hope it don't leak too much and uh, never speak of it again all right headers are in and as you can see I am uh, professional through and through and I've made some uh, custom bends precision bends I might add on that bracket there for clearance had the protractor out and everything looking good and I got the heat shield back there just the one I don't want to get too fancy and a couple on the other side here you know don't want to show off too much but those should keep the spark plug wires from melting hopefully and I think she's all back together I think I should uh, blow out my eardrums and give it a try here I don't have anything hooked up beyond the headers but I want to make sure I got everything back in and the thing's gonna work and there aren't any miscellaneous tubes falling off like that so let's hop in and see what it sounds like let's see if it runs I had that hood up a while oh yeah much better Alright, now we get to do the rest of the exhaust and quiet it down a little bit. Well, we're getting the exhaust put on. I got that side on. And, uh, yeah, it's not on right. I had to use longer bolts and, uh, as you can see, some ratchet straps to move the exhaust around where I needed it. And, uh, it's just about lined up. And as soon as I did that, it started leaking coolant. I think I'm the only guy in the world that can screw around with an exhaust and make myself a coolant leak so it's probably that frost plug right in the side of the block so I'm gonna pull the starter out and see if I can't see what the heck's going on and hopefully fix it $400 truck just gets better and better well I pulled that starter off and I took a look and the plug was fine I couldn't figure out where the heck it was leaking from. So I crawled up here and I started pulling plug wires and it got worse. And uh, I took the air cleaner off and I noticed that this hose <laughs> is no longer attached. So I must have leaned on that and uh, busted the heater hose. Great. <sighs> yeah, that's going to be uh, that's going to be fun, I think. All right, new exhaust is in. So to recap, we got the Super eBay headers bolted somehow to the stock Y pipe with the stock catalytic converter, which uh, I don't think is clogged. It looks like uh, they hollowed her out and put some nice stove putty there. So I think that's good, and that's going to a piece of scrap pipe I found. Don't know where exactly it came off of. To the super cheap muffler and then back to the probably incorrect tailpipe uh, that's definitely mounted incorrectly at least and everything's clamped up and lovingly uh, wired into place it ain't pretty but you know what it's quiet and I'm not going to be uh, setting off any car alarms when I drive through town so I don't really care it's in so I guess I'll clean up the 80 million tools I got laying around and uh, lower this thing off the jacks and take for a little spin. All right, I think I got all the tools out from under it. You know, the exhaust is pretty quiet, but there's still that that squeak. I don't, I don't really like that. There we go, much better. I guess now is the time to see if our brakes work. I still haven't tried that yet. Well, we're not moving, so. Yeah, I should probably bleed them, but. They're not going to the floor, so. And it's stopping. So you can't go wrong with that. Nice. Relatively quiet. I like it. 
You know, I pulled the truck out, but it looks like most of it's still on my shop floor. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I'll uh, clean this up and then spin that thing around and bring it in and start working on the front end. Make a whole other pile of rust. At least it's quieter now. <laughs>